welcome to Sculpture Studios. It's been a little while now since our last project video, I wonder why that is. Oh, that's right, the world seems to have spiralled into a strange abyss of doom and gloom, and unfortunately, what with everything closing, that means no projects for us. Whatever the case, and whatever your situation, we hope you're all keeping safe out there, and hopefully you'll agree with me that one of the main reasons we're as safe as we are is because of all the key workers around the globe. Emergency services, and particularly in the care and medical professions, these are the people that put themselves at risk by carrying on each day to get us back to normal. So here in this project video, we've got something a little special for not only the key workers, but any of you out there who might know someone that is. The idea behind this project is not because something's been ordered or commissioned, which is usually the case, but more for us to show our appreciation to the key workers. This is so that anyone watching this video that likes the sculpture can purchase one for themselves or someone they know in any of the sizes that we make. This would greatly support us during hard times like these where our business has been stretched thin and will hopefully be a lovely gesture to that special person that you know. Hello, my name is Aidan Hines. I'm a commercial sculptor. I've been in business for about 35 to 40 years now and I want to create something for the NHS nurses and to say thank you in general for them for all the hard work on the front line. So I'm trying to make a piece of sculpture I think about this kind of size in clay first of all and I'll probably have it scanned and made smaller as well. But I'm just uh, developing some ideas now uh, of an angel that is hugging the world with its wings and it's an NHS worker with its mask on like, laying across it as if they're worn out and tired. I think through here I will actually have the England map with the island and Scotland and Wales and that be the central focal point of the whole globe and it have the European and Italy and whatever down here the, and the Americas over here France, Scandinavia over here uh, but yeah I think we have the UK as a central point NHS worker with his arms wrapped right around here and there be some kind of pattern represent its feathers on top. I want to make quite a big model first and I would use this as a nice sphere, nice globe and it's going to be on the turntable so I can work it around. I'm going to start to add clay to this and build up slowly like as I build the whole thing up. I know if I start to add the land masses to all of this and I cut into it, it's not going to go any further because that's going to be a perfect sphere. Let's get to work. For all of you out there that have followed our channel for any length of time over the last decade or so, you probably know by now that a purely selling video of here's our finished product, would you like to buy it, isn't really the way we work. The only time we've done that is when we've collaborated with another artist, but with something special like this, we like to show you the whole project from start to finish. That way you can see the thought process behind the concept, the trials and errors, the materials used, and the actual way in which we work. This shows you that this is truly our own piece, and that you're purchasing a piece of Sculpture Studios. What we're aiming to do with this project, as much as we're creating this with our own National Health Service in mind, is to make this something that could be purchased worldwide. We want to make this available to anyone from anywhere around the globe, as this is a global pandemic after all, and there are people out there that are caring for, healing, treating, researching, and doing whatever they can to try and fix the world we're living in. People that have put themselves in harm's way with seemingly little personal reward. I mean, we started clapping for them outside our front doors on a Thursday evening here in the UK. If you live here, you know what I'm talking about. A clap is lovely, but I'm sure a pay rise would have been more appreciated, am I right? These people, our own personal, real-life guardian angels, are the ones that we need to show our thanks to. Uh, ooh, guardian angel? You know, that's not bad, I'm going to write that down. The master carving, or rather the model, or maquette in this case, has been created from clay, 
and now that Aiden's happy with the design, he sealed the clay with a grey primer. This locks in the moisture to save the clay from drying out or cracking, but more importantly, it prepares the model surface for the next part of the process. We've got in touch with Impossible Creations, a 3D computer modelling and 3D printing company, only 20 minutes away from us in Horndon. We talked through our project with them, and that our brief was to have this 3D scanned and then printed in three different sizes. This way, each version of the model is an exact replica of Aiden's original clay sculpt. Also very much a family-run business like ourselves, Ian and his crew took this straight on, scanning the model into their system, and here we can see Megan just tweaking any rough points on the original scan, zooming right in and adding the most minute of details to get this absolutely perfect for us before it's printed. This is a fantastic example of seeing two different artistic modelling styles joining and collaborating together to achieve a fantastic end result, so thank you everyone at Impossible Creations. Right, here we have the two different sizes. Looks quite nice, very pleased with that, very nice indeed, hollow plastic at the moment. And the other scale one is from there to there, but they're identical, looking really really nice. All the little continent lines and the face and the hands and the fingernails come out lovely I think. Yeah, it'd be wonderful to see them all moulded and cast. I'm just, they've got loads of little cast lines here when the machine was was making it up in layers. Now I'm going to prime fill all of this and then rub it back until it ends up with a lovely finish all over. Right, here we have um, the smallest one. You see on there, had them embossed or laser cut, and it's very shallow. Uh, looks very, very nice and very neat. And we have the sculpture studios on here, and there's our little angels. With a plate, place them on there, and glue them and fix them so they become one unit. At the end, they're going to be um, a marble fleck in it and with a little bit of glitter. So, it's, it's, so it looks, it looks like a royal icing really really nice I think once they're done and on the larger one I don't know if you can see it on there we have the plate on the front and this I think because of the scale of it will probably go outside in the garden somewhere and we'll have thank you to the NHS frontline workers on that again this might be in a kind of stone or an aggregate sort of color or we might we may even still go for the marble we don't know yet We'll see what these look like first and then we'll work on this one. But the next stage is to stick these to the bases uh, and then create our nice moulds. All takes a long, long time, but I think it'd be worth it in the end. Here we have the larger model, just finishing up all the little details around here. It's only when you get it uh, is underneath a microscope or a, a magnifying glass you can see a little bit of rough areas, so I'm filling these. Had a little um, plate made for the front of this, uh, engraved, but it's too close together all the writing, so it's back to the drawing board with that until it's, it's legible. It's, everything's just far too close, not very good. So I'm, I'm going to make another attempt at that, and when I'm happy with it, we'll fix it on there and blend it all in together. But it's coming along nicely so far. The next part of the process, now that we have three identical patterns but in three different sizes, is to create a production mould of each so that these finished items can be replicated. Sure, we could have these simply 3D printed in plastic and replicated over and over, but not only would this take a lot of time and cost, but as you saw from the raw 3D printed model, the surfaces would always need cleaning up where the print lines build up in layers. Creating a production mould of each size here in-house means that we can now experiment in the best pourable material for a solid finish. Rather than printing in a hollow plastic, the feel and weight of a solid pour would give this the more high-end finish that we're after. To begin the mould, a large plaster block has been created by pouring liquid plaster of Paris into a square frame. We've made sure to add a rough pyramid shape 
inside while pouring the plaster, which can be later removed, and this leaves a cavity that can accommodate the model. Silicon rubber is applied by brush to the angel and base first, and this makes sure that we achieve every single bit of text and detail before this is supported upside down on the frame. Rubber is then poured in around the model and left to set to complete the mould. It's crucial that all of these stages go smoothly so that the true form is properly captured. The model needs to sit square, centre and level and all of the materials need the appropriate amount of time to cure properly. Well, somebody's been busy over here. Yeah. What I'm actually doing here now is I've made silicon rubber moulds of these two little figures and I've poured them with um, kind of plaster and one with resin and one with um, a fine casting uh, and we're just letting them set. We put these in the buckets and we can just do that to balance them and get them nice and square. And I can show you some test samples. There's quite a few. This is called fast cast. It's like a plastic. It's nice and hard and it's just full. And it goes off in about half an hour. So that's nice and quick. And it shows up the detail quite nice as well, which I think is quite good. Quite happy with that, but I don't like the yellow colour. Here I've used, it's called Jesmonite, and it's got a slight slate feel to it, little bits of fleck in it. I think it's quite nice. And it's it does. almost a stone, isn't it, really? Yeah, well, it's meant to is it represent a kind of uh, granite look about it. Plaster, quite tricky with plaster, and it takes a long time to dry but there's loads of little air pockets appearing and it's very, very difficult to get rid of it. And I think the edge of that could chip very easily. So I'm now going from fine casting plaster to um, a herculite plaster, which is a lot denser and it ends up more chinery feel to it. That's good to do all these tests anyway and just feel the weight and the dampness and the speed they take to pour. I think they're quite nice sizes to hold and to have a look at and it will go nice in somebody's uh, a uh, mental piece or something like that. So this one out here will be good to go um, outside here. Yeah. Look, just big concrete pieces. So I'm starting to make a mould down here and it's going to be a latex mould with a glass fibre jacket to hold a whole lot. But I think the contents have come out really quite nice and it shows up particularly well in grey and the concrete will come out like that as well. Unfortunately the reverse side of the globe we can't see so we had to favour one side of the globe so sorry for anyone around the world that isn't going to see their country on here but as this is kind of based yeah. for the NHS although this plaque can be amended later down the line if uh, if someone else on another country wants something specifically but the NHS is obviously the National Health Service of the UK so we put that in the middle as the focus. Yeah. As well as that, you're thinking about potentially going even smaller, aren't you? Well, we could do keyring size or even charm bracelet size, and that's just an idea. And we're also thinking about 10 foot for the hospital, so they go outside and each hospital will have their own one to say thank you. There we go. That's what we're talking about. That's what we want to achieve. Hopefully this generates a little bit of interest anyway. I know a lot of our, our viewers come from the States, but hopefully there's enough viewers in the UK that might want to buy something to show a bit of appreciation for the NHS workers. And we can also adapt it for the US market as well. We can. Yeah, Plus, it allows people to buy a little bit of Sculpture Studios. It's not every day we do something on a, a smaller, more commercially available scale such as these. So uh, some people might be interested in, in having a little bit of the, the company, a little bit of the channel, and a little bit of the history in these uh, these COVID times. They are coming together and um, positive vibes all around. That's it. To ensure we get the best finish possible on each of the casts, we're treating every model individually once they're set. After Aiden had gone through seven or eight different materials to cast from, the favourite was a Herculite plaster. Though the overall form is identical with every cast that comes out of the moulds, every model has its own deviations in terms of the plaster mix or an air bubble or two, so we're just going round and amending each model as needed to make sure everything is perfect before artworking. This is one of those time-consuming processes that you wouldn't normally see, but we wanted this to feature in the video to show the level of detail that we're going into to ensure we get a high-quality end product each and every time. For all 
all of these smaller sized models, we're going to be creating two different finished looks. The first batch we're going over with a base colour of black, before Aiden goes ahead with the rest of the artwork. And here we have Aiden Hines extraordinaire. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. It was his birthday a couple of days ago, he's happy about it. I am. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? Well, I'm using what's called a, a dry brush technique. We use it in the theatre a lot. I'm getting this, um, we've got a foundation colour first of all, and now I'm flicking the brush over very carefully, and I'm just touching the tops. I think it this real kind of bronze look about it. Cross hatching it to make sure I don't get any streaks. This way the dark spots stay dark, only the highlights on top are touched by the bronze. Gives it a nice look of weight about it as well. And a nice bit of luster to the whole thing, so very nice indeed. Here I am, just preparing the base with some PVA glue. Just, just making sure I get it nice and even and soaking in. When I'm ready, I'll get some of this iridescent, like a glitter, but what I'm trying to achieve is this angelic look about the whole thing. Twinkle feel about it, as if it's sugar icing and it catches itself in the sun, so really looks sparkly and kind of Christmassy in a way. This is just in contrast to the bronze heavy look that we've created on the other table. This is so that people have a couple of options to choose from when purchasing any of the angels in any of the sizes. Okay everybody, you've seen what we've done here so far at Aiden Hines Sculpture Studios. We've made a small one, a medium one, and one to go out possibly in the garden, outside in the garden. Um, now they are actually for sale on my, on my website, so if you'd like to have a look at um, one of those and buy one for perhaps a colleague or a friend or a mum or a dad even, like that's worked in the NHS, and that's really to say thank you for the very hard work dedication and uh, and bravery I would have said because I'm not sure that I would have done it but very commendable people for saving our lives so fantastic but apart from these sizes here I'm looking at pitching this idea to Basildon Council or Essex County Council for something like this okay and we're thinking more bronze tradition and our bronze resin uh, and it will last years and years outside and something more solid uh, to say thank you outside each hospital and that would be really really nice or something like this and these are more traditional sort of colours where you've, you're making it look like marble and the green scrubs and the face and the earth planet continents and, and make it more of a picturesque thing now apart from all of that what we'd like to do is um, the, this is more of a concept of possibly 8 foot tall, 10 foot tall, something with a bit of presence about the whole thing. Uh, and w we could either make one once we have a pattern and a mould, or we, or we could make 200 of these to go outside every single hospital in the country. Now that's thinking really big, but it would be a permanent reminder and everyone's exactly the same for every single hospital and it'd be more of a kind of a solid foundation to say thank you instead of just a, a thought or standing outside clapping and that's my idea and let's hope it goes big and let's hope it goes nationwide and there we have it the guardian angels by sculptor Aidan Hines from Sculpture Studios this is in tribute to not just the key workers here in the UK, but everyone all around the world. For anyone interested in purchasing one of these models, in any of the sizes and finishes that you've seen in this video, then by all means get in touch with us via email or by telephone. Speak to us directly and we'll arrange for your choice to be sent out to you. This could be a gift item for yourself or a family member, or someone that you know who you'd like to show a little thank you to, or perhaps you would just like to own a piece of Sculpture Studios. Whatever the case, please also feel free to share this video to really get the word of these sculptures out there. 
It's been very trying times lately, and we've certainly felt the effects over here, particularly from a family-run business point of view, but we're going to try our best to continue bringing you great content and great sculpture in any way that we can. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook, and follow at Aidan Hines on Twitter, and for more of our work, visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Everybody keep safe out there, and thank you very much for watching.